Hey there, I'm your host Lasawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create an invisibility spell. Now, you can apply this to anything you want. If you have a magic system, that will also work. So essentially, I'm just pressing my left mouse button, and on the animation montage, on a notify, I become invisible. And if we press the left mouse button again, I will become visible. So that's pretty much it. And with that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Over here, you want to create a new folder and I'll call this invisible. And inside of here, we want to create a new material, which will be a simply material. And I'll call it M underscore invis. And inside of here, if we hold down tree and press the left mouse button, we shall get a constant tree vector. Now connect this into the base color and select whatever color you like. I think I'll go with a grayish white for my invisibility. Then if you press left and hold the left mouse button or one and the left mouse button, you will get a constant. And over here, just select opacity. I like it to be 0 0.05 and plug that into opacity, which we don't see because first in the blend mode, let's make this translucent. And we also want this to be used with skeletal mesh and set this to be true. Now we will get the opacity, plug that in there. And that's us done over here. So let's hit apply and save. So next we want to go over here and create a material instance. And that's fine. We can just leave it like this. And let's go to our player. So I'm using BP underscore Brady. So essentially just go to your player. And over here, you want to create two functions. I apologize because I have this already, so I'll just delete. And over here, uh, create two new functions, call one invisible and the other visible. So that's one and another one, this will be visible. And go to your invisible function. And over here, you want to drag and do set material. And the material you want to set will be the mesh. And for here, just select your material instance. So we called it invis. There we go. And you want to have as many of them as you have materials on your character. So to check that, just select your mesh. And over here, we can see I got four elements. So zero, one, two, three. And we can copy this three more times and just make sure you set these to the exact as you have. So zero, one, and so on. So this will be two. And then our last will be three. And this is important because we want to change all of the materials. And at the very end, we can create a variable called is invisible. And we can put it, set it here. This will be true. And out of this, we want a return node. And just make sure to ch check everything. So that's looking good. We can compile. And oh yeah, I forgot this, so it's not looking good. And now we can compile. Next, we can simply just copy this and go to visible. And you want to change the materials back to what they were. So if we select the mesh and we see element zero is CH40. So just do that. Then material one is body one. That's right. Then this is simply the this thing. And we got hair for the last, and this will be false. So that's our two functions done. We can compile and save. And I'll close off. And in the event graph, we can create a input. So go to your inputs, uh, actions, create a new input action. And this will be called something like IA underscore invisibility. Invisibility. I hope I spelled it wrong or right, I mean. Um, so that's that. Then in your IMC, Go to your mappings and just search for the invisibility and select whatever key you like. I'll have it on my left mouse button. That's fine for me. And over here in the Brady character, let's call this input action. And out of this, uh, we simply can do play montage, which we haven't actually created. So let's do that very quick. I already have my animation imported, but if you don't, just uh, get an animation. And I'll do this one. 
I had did previously for a different video. So let's just right click and do create edit montage. And inside here, find a frame that you want to go invisible. I think where he claps his hands is just perfect for me. So let's do up here, add notify, montage notify. Just like so, we can save and exit. Now inside of here, let's select our montage. Then for the skeletal mesh, get your mesh of your character. And on notify begin, we will have a branch actually. So press B and left mouse button to get the branch. Then condition, we are just checking are we invisible or not. So if true, we will get the visible function. And if false, we will get the invisible function. Uh, inv I need to spell it. There we go. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Then the other thing you could do is just add some extra steps for this to not be able to move. So there we go. We're invisible. And if I do this again, we are visible. So let's just do one more thing um, make it look better. On started, what we can do, if we get our character movement, we can do is falling. So we can't do it in air. That's the first thing. Just connect it like so. And that means when you're jumping, you can't actually play the montage. And we want this to be false. Next, we want to disable movement. So character and disable movement. And let's plug this into here. Just like so. And then after all of this is done on completed, what we can do, get your character movement and do set movement mode. And this is going to be walking. So uncompleted into here, just like so. And now if I do compile and save, my character should be able to jump, not play it. But if I'm on the floor, I can play this animation and we can play it and we won't be able to move. So I think that's all working perfectly for us. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.